What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Home Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we back with more amazing digital circus songs. And we got Connor Quest's with a Jax rap asshole. See, I'm not the only one who thinks Jax is an asshole. Cause let's be honest. I get it that most people love him and I ain't gonna lie, I love him, I do love him a little bit, but sometimes you got it's like Cam Steady's Jack song love hate relationship. Cause sometimes you love what he is and such, he's just him, he don't change for nobody and such. But sometimes you hate him cause you just cause in certain situations where it's supposed to be serious, you just wanna smack this motherfucker cause he gonna say something stupid and idiotic or crazy and such but hey we all have that type of love hate relationship when we got with somebody in our life because i guarantee you i probably have a lot of them well not saying a lot but yeah and probably and probably y'all do too but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials out there and without further ado let's get in the video Asshole. Yeah, that's a good way. He does, not gonna lie. Sorry, y'all. Sorry if this is messy it up. But yeah, Jax. One thing with Jax, he will. He will come back with the quitties of wits. I was texting somebody, so yeah, my bad if that messed it up. Someone okay. say I'm pretty quick with the wit, loud sock I stick. Either way, Big. clap back with the killer Black retort. Keys, so you walk the wall and down again, round the bend. Hammer in these squares, knock down the peg. I'm a thorn in his hand, mm. cops, mother flower beds, man. I just tell her how it is. So below the door, I'm not cheap as shots. Piss off everyone when my teeth in front. Not booze with a heap of salt. And the black when they all claim he's a bum. All him. Niggle it in one of the in one scene of episode two when the truck when like the truck was going to the fudge and such Nigga gonna blame freaking one of the other people who was driving that he has he blames you for this When literally a few scenes back this nigga wanted to drive I must, I would just want to slap that nigga. Oh, mama, teasing, bro. That booze with a heap of salt and the black when they all claim he's a fuck. He's a fuck. I've stuck here for longer than I can remember. I've lost all sympathy. Call me on this for one as if we're going off the end. I'm bringing you down with me. If he's a big as hell, you take a food that I Hey, you always get one of those people where they want. If y'all gonna hate me, cool, I want it. Give me all of the hate. Give me all of it. Cause guess what? I don't give a fuck. And hey, what can I say? Nine times out of ten, in a world that people are so sensitive or nowadays and such, hey, we need the type of person where they just don't give a f what you say. I mean, sometimes I'm like that, but nine times out of ten, I do care about what other people says uh, in a way. But if you're just a random stranger, you just coming out of nowhere and telling me about me and such, you're not you're not, you're not a friend of mine. You're not a friend, family of mine, family member of mine. You're not a co-worker of mine where I work. You're not a family friend, family friend of mine. Like, if you're not one of those four things to me, who are you? Like at that point, you can rah 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 all you want. At the end of the day, 
I don't give a shit. Cause you got, cause I know what I am. I know what I've been. I know what I got. You got what you got, and that's the end of it. You believe in what you want to believe in, and all that. So you can say what you want, but at the end of the day, it ain't affecting me otherwise. Cause you are not. Basically, you're not like committed to me in any sort of way. Sorry. Pessimistic, a pessimistic. Ooh, you see what I mean? This nigga, and then Connor going come in with his type of lyrical breakdown and such of a word. Hold on, let's listen to how he break down pessimistic. Okay. Let's let's off your lip. I've been pessimistic, right? And watch how the next line he breaks that shit down into a different sense. A pest a mist take. Bro, pest a mistake, a pest a mist. Come on now. Trust me, if you gon' because a lot of people want to cancel shit, literally, it's like this. For all them people who are too sensitive and all that and such and can't take a joke from anything. Do you see these five words on the screen right now? That's what your ass needs to do. Because I get it that most people live through something, but it's best like this. I'm just saying this. Even the ones who have lived through something, like on a personal level, even they can take a joke and such, right? Even they can take a joke. So, this, these five words right here gotta represent all the people who are cancel culture. Toughen up and get a grip on yourself. Because I guarantee you, most of y'all out there ain't have, don't live, don't have a life. I'm sorry, hey. I know I'm supposed to be called Humble Ziggy, but some of y'all need some. Some of the ones who are in this cancel culture nonsense, some of y'all need some humbling as well. Straight up. If you needed a song to ever represent Jax, that was it right there. Just full of himself. If you, if you're gonna boo him, if you're gonna hate him, he'll be like, "Yes, I guess what? I don't care. Cause guess what? I want you to boo me and such." That's this song literally represented how Jax is and such. But hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And hey, if you made it to the end, comment down below. Comment down below, asshole, yeah. <laughs> comment down below, at, well. No, I don't want y'all getting blocked, so comment down below. Get a grip. Comment that down below, and that makes me know you to the end. But. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. 